y'all. So everybody's been asking about updates and I decided to put a little video together and it is, it is choppy. It is um, just some random several things that have been going on um, here on my side for the past, I guess, couple weeks or so. Um, so yeah, here's a, a little update on the property and then um, I'll explain to you some stuff that's going on with that. Excuse my hot mess express hair. But we're here at my property, or our property, and so far we just have a, um, a land clearing permit, but nothing has been done yet, so that's not much to update. Um, we had some things already kind of like cleared, you know, prior to uh, having the builder, you know, contracting the builder. So we have a pile of trees and whatnot. Um, out here um, so let me show you what kind of mess it is so my youngins over there climb the trees they can't wait to let me widen this out a little bit there we go that's our pile of trees that we had piled up all of this needs to be cleared this will be our driveway coming up and the house will kind of sit here hopefully my shop and then chickens and pigs and possibly a mini cow and some raised bed gardens all through here but mostly it's woods right now i planted a loquat tree back in there and it's doing well i came because i had some sweet potatoes that we had in one of my planters before we moved and so i came to harvest them before i forgot they're not really large but we got a few they're a decent size. So that is a dog's barking off in the thing. I'll show you a really cool. We have lots of deer tracks. Lots of deer tracks um, through here, which is really neat. And it's because they travel over here to get to the water. I'll show you. It's not our property, but we thinking maybe it might be a good investment to purchase. This piece of property that has water on it. It's really cool. There's a neat, like, you know, canal. So obviously in case that water over there starts to spill over, um, this will catch it and run off it into the road before it even comes onto our property. So this is a tree my kids are going to use and they single-handedly cut this one down by themselves because they got all excited. We're going to start using it to build their tree house. And uh, it wasn't a tree that we wanted down. But you know how kids are. Sometimes they just, they just got to do. Oh, there's prickly vines out here too. Let's see if I can make it out here. We had a lot of this. Bush hog and cleared last year, but obviously, ouch, unless you keep it up, really does no good. Just so you know, these things right here are really cool to put in resin. I made my daughter a jewelry box, um, and I put these in it in resin, and I don't know what they're called. They're just really dry, fluffy, feel like cotton, wujimajigs. Um, and they're really cool to see they just fly off. Really cool to put in resin. I'm glad that we have them on our property because when they grow in, I will harvest them to... Okay, I'm hoping to God that this, this property behind us um, people are, are building a house over there and they cleared a ton of our property and they harvested my burl. Oh my gosh. I am so mad. That was on our property. That was my burl. <sighs> so 
So I confronted the homeowner behind us uh, that was clearing the property and stole the burl. I don't, I don't know who stole the burl. He says that uh, crackheads he hired came out and stole the burl. Regardless, it's your responsibility if you hired somebody and they did, you know, they trespassed and, and stole something from somebody's property. Unfortunately, he was not willing to make it right. He didn't even apologize. He could care less, you know, that 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 happened um so of course i called the police did a report and had them trespassed off our property it just sucks because you know it's it's our property it's our things that you know he damaged a tree uh took a burl off of it something that's very valuable and then damaged the tree which could possibly die and then damage his fence and then we're responsible for it so we'll have to have that tree taken down um fairly soon um, and that's going to cost us more money because anything outside of what the builder clears, uh, we have to contract a land clearer or, you know, tree company to come out and do that. That's what stinks. You know, it's not just the, the principal, uh, you know, it's, it's not just the fact that it costs money. It's the fact that, you know, you came onto my property and took something that didn't belong to you and you just think that it's okay. And that's just, it boggles my mind. I, I just, I can't understand that. I can't understand that, but... Anyways, it's all been um, taken care of, and hopefully, I pray, that we don't have any more issues. So, let's see what else. We got the um, early land clearing permit that came out there the day after I found the burl was missing and started to clear out the lot, the spot for the house, which is really nice to see dirt moved around. And the guy who, the superintendent for our, our builder is a really great guy, and I'm looking forward to, um, you know, moving forwards with just getting our house, you know, done. Uh, this week, they finally approved the building permit, which is the week of Thanksgiving. I don't expect anybody to be doing anything this week because, you know, it's the week of Thanksgiving. And um, so hopefully next week we'll start seeing some more dirt being moved and um, some stuff going on. And I'll update like every other week or so, or, or maybe even once a month. It all depends. All depends on what's going on. Uh, as far as everything goes to keep you guys in the know and and what's going on with me it's hard to share um, personal stuff because you know I'm a wood turning channel I just I share with you the products I use the things I make out of what and you know it's just a creative outlet uh, for me and I can also encourage hopefully encourage others and in, in the meantime because I know how much Others have encouraged me um, in wood turning, and so it's kind of a way to, you know, share my my journey um, with it—the ups and downs, the mistakes, the what's to dos and what's not to dos. Mostly, what not to dos, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, we all learn from each other, and and even the mistakes. So it's hard for me to um, like wrap my mind around the whole. You know, now my channel is going to be like camper life until I get back to wood turning again. But I truly do appreciate everybody who's um, who's watching. I mean, just just the views help out. You know, I know it's going to drop off quite a bit, and that's okay. I understand not everybody's wanting to sit here and watch Kim's drama life or what's going on in her life. But I do appreciate the prayers. I appreciate uh, you watching me and supporting me. Um, we're just so very thankful that we have a temporary home to live in until our house is built and I'm looking forward to um, moving forwards with that uh, let's see the video I'm going to show next is of a desk that I was blessed to have the opportunity to uh, test out and show you it is uh, called flexi spot um, it's a desk that is adjustable you'll see in the video So this company, FlexiSpot, makes um, several different style desks. Um, this particular one was just the one, one top desk. Uh, it had kind of like a carved out uh, section for you to sit in front of and then two holes for cup holders or upgrade. Um, you know, you can upgrade to a double, uh, double top. Uh, you can go to their website and see all the different um, 
options they have for this desk. I'm showing a real, real quick version of the um, putting it together because it's not an instructional video. Like I said, these desks come in several different models, so um, depending on which one you get is what parts and, and how you put it together. It's more of just showing you what exactly is involved in uh, putting this desk together. And we have a really small, tight space here in this camper um, to put this thing together, and we were able to manage, you know, you in in the camper we have to really um, take advantage of every single inch and utilize it uh, to the best of our uh, abilities and so this it wasn't too bad putting it together in here I They have pre-drilled holes in the bottom of this, and like I said, because it comes in several different models, and I guess they just forgot to pre-drill the holes for this particular modular uh, thingamajiggy. I don't know what that is, the Whaley Cash Meddler. Um, so I just went and pre-drilled holes and screwed it right in. Not a big deal. I just I just wasn't un I was unsure at first. Like, is that where it's supposed to be? Because there's not pre-drilled holes. Um, looked over the instructions several times, and and sure enough, it just just didn't have the pre-drilled holes. So simple, easy peasy. My kids enjoy it um, greatly because we can do uh, sit down and do schoolwork, or if they get tired of sitting because they're sitting all day or whatever, they can stand up, and it's uh, very adjustable, quick and easy, and I can use it in the kitchen. Um, so it's fantastic, and right where it's at, the opposite side of the kitchen is the couch, um, literally just like one step. So I uh, decided to throw together some breadsticks for dinner, because by the time I got this thing put together, it was about that time to start getting things ready for dinner. And I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and film um, making breadsticks and see how awesome it is to uh, adjust it. Because mixing and then kneading the bread and everything else is really nice to be able to change the heights um, as I went along in the kitchen. So, yeah, um, enjoy watching me at real fast paced uh, making breadsticks. <laughs> I use Pinterest for a lot of my recipes and sometimes you get those like oh, they didn't turn out so great and then other times you get ones that are just wow you know why haven't I heard about this recipe a long time ago this was one of those this breadstick recipe was fantastic so I decided um, after I baked these and we had them for dinner that night I would uh, share that recipe with you <laughs> down at the bottom because they were fantastic and they were really easy to make it was it was very simple and um, yeah I loved it so I'm sharing that recipe with you it'll be in the description below this thing here is the control I haven't figured out how to um, program it yet of course I haven't read the directions to do so um, I've just been so fascinated with how amazing this is and how easy this thing is look how high this thing comes up fifty inches 
give you an idea how tall this thing, how high this thing goes up. I'm almost six foot. Um, and yeah, it's in, it's in my armpit practically. That is, uh, that is awesome. And I love that we can use it, I can use it for a kitchen island and then have the kids sit and do school. Um, we don't have a dinner table in here. We've just been using like TV tray kind of things. Uh, so this will give the kids something to set their plates and everything on. It is a true blessing to be able to um, try this out and show this to y'all. Let me show you how low it goes as well. And this control panel is pretty cool. It has um, memory settings, obviously, so you can set it. I haven't read the manual yet to set them. Oops. 24.4 inches, and that measures from the feet here to the top of the table here. So it'll even tell you what your, what your height is which is awesome. And this is pretty low, obviously. Oh, I got flour on me from making some breadsticks for dinner. Yeah, and all the cables tuck away really nice. Um, I like how they give you these um, cable, 3M cable deals. I'm gonna have to look for some more of those because those are convenient to have tuck cables away. It tucks in real nice. And surprisingly, you know, the motors are up here. You know, this is the heaviest part of this whole thing is these motors. And for them being that close to the top of the table and that being that high, it is very sturdy. You can tell it's very, um, it's good and durable, sturdy. So anywho, thought I'd share that with you guys. So I just want you to know I really appreciate each and every single one of you for watching my videos. Um, I know they're not wood turning, you know, exclusively and, and, uh, and that's, that means a lot to me that you guys would still at least click it and see what's going on. And that really helps my channel, just the views. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you for that, for sticking around and kind of seeing what's going on in my life. It's, it's hard to share this part of me because I'm, I'm, I just, you know, want to share my wood turning and not my life and all the drama that goes <laughs> in it. Nobody likes drama. I don't like drama. So you know, I'm, I'm not trying to do that, but, um, yeah, just kind of keep you guys updated on what's going on. Uh, and I appreciate you watching. Um, I just pray you have, y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, have a wonderful dinner with your family. We're just going to have our own little Thanksgiving here, um, with my little oven. <laughs> I'm going to cut the turkey in half and, you know, bake it that way because we're not feeding a horde of people so only half a turkey would be plenty for us and some sides here and there which is great we have the grill and and the um the double burner camp chef stove so uh that will be plenty to get all of our things you know cooked on and and we'll have a wonderful thanksgiving being blessed and thankful for my family and um having a roof over our head you know the very simple things so uh yeah, y'all do the same. You have a wonderful Thanksgiving, a blessed one. Make sure you tell your family that you love them. And um, y'all have a wonderful week. Take care and God bless.